hello YouTube friends thanks so much for joining me today I, I really appreciate and if you can please sign up for the channel and let's do this journey together I want to go over today what we are doing we are doing a quick painting today because of the, my time but uh, we're gonna be covering some of how I mix some of this color but I also want to go over this so I did the drawing let me move this big jar of uh, I did the drawing here and then I used workable fix it to um, I don't know if there is any other brand of this but this is pretty good because it protects the graffiti from the drawing to mix up with your paint and the colors I'm using is this huge titanium white which I want to talk to you guys about it too the lid was old and it was stuck so I just put into a little bit of a hot water, warmed up in the microwave, and put inside a little container and let it soak for a little bit. And that's how I opened the lid without messing it up. The next color I'm using is Cadian Yellow, Naples Yellow, which I haven't used it yet. I'm using Permanent, no, let me go this Bright Red is the next color. And then um, Permanent Alizarin Crimson ultramarine blue and black so those are the colors that i will be using today so if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate us doing this journey together and i bought this little thing for my bathroom and then i end up not using it uh, i hate this camera because it's so close by but then i just used it for my brush just to give you some ideas and um, I also want to go over my palette knife it's good because it is very flexible and makes it easy and like I said it before you do it like you press it one way and the other way one way and the other way that's the best way to mix it without going all over I already pre-mixed some of the colors because I wanted to um, try to save up some time at least in the camera so I'm gonna start with and this is my reference picture of course no i might not be able to do it quite like that yet but i'm gonna start with let me move my brushes out of the way open up my little jar of um linseo oil that's what i use and um i need to move my brushes now again I want to let you know for so I don't have to wash my brushes every day. I use the Geneva Fine Art Supply brush dip. With this, I can just clean the brush and put it in there, and so I don't have to be uh, perfectly washing the brush every single day, which it's a pain to do. Um, now I'm not mixing too much of the linseed oil, but I do want to have some flow. And the linseed oil will give me that flow. A um, little bit of that with a little bit of that. Just want to put a little bit more right in the top here. A little bit dark and then just lighting up as we go. Now this boat, I'm gonna have to cover up the boat because of the can't. Normally I like to um, color the paper so I'm not painting on a completely white canvas, but I didn't do it, I forgot, so had to leave it alone now okay we need to do a little bit more of these more blue now 
I'm gonna be doing the the composition. You see there? Oh no, no, I thought it was a a paint um, brush. So now I'm gonna wipe my brush and grab a little bit of the yellow. Now I'm gonna clean my brush just because the yellow with the blue will make it green. Normally I like to just keep on going, but I have to get a little bit yellow and the buildings is gonna be black, so I don't have to worry about the buildings, but I wanna get this color first, a little tiny bit of the Limsey oil. So I wanna do, see my buildings, I'm gonna be painting right to the buildings. Because I'm gonna have to um, redo my buildings. The buildings are gonna be going right in there. I'm not gonna paint this area because it's gonna be where my boat is gonna go. So I don't wanna paint that area. Now I also have decided to use the um, The, the gloves just to make my life easier when I have to clean my hands. So this is too, too see-through. I'm probably gonna have to do two coats on this one because you see through the painting. Let me do one right there. Yeah, definitely see-through. can do this way all right now we're gonna have I'm gonna have to come back in this painting and then do but I'm gonna be doing the buildings in here in black so and then I will use the white titanium white for the white so hopefully it's gonna be fine. Um, next, I am gonna be doing the little ocean. Now I needed to get a new brush for that. I don't wanna use a too small of a brush, otherwise I'm gonna spend the whole day here. So let me use this brush. I washed this brush yesterday, so I didn't wanna get a bunch of brushes, but it's okay. Now this, I'm gonna do that's funny what is that oh I don't know what that is it's from the painting I guess now this is gonna have a paint that's gonna go through here So let's just go put this in here and then I'm gonna be doing a little different things. So anyways, are you guys, how was your, got your year, end of the year? By the time you get this video, you will have passed your holiday season just want to check on how was your holiday season this time of the year it's beautiful at the same time sometimes it's sad some for some people it's very sad for other people it's nice so just depends on what stage you are in your life but if you're going through anything that's bad right now it's a new year, it's coming very soon, so hang in there. 
I know I have a client of mine that the mom is in the hospital and I feel her pain because I had my dad in the hospital too. So I know how hard it is. It's definitely difficult. But hang in there. Things will get better. Sometimes it's um, bad timing for whatever reason, but then things get better, you know? Nothing is bad forever and nothing is good forever either. So we have to enjoy our lives when we are going through some good times. And remember that bad times don't last forever either. So whenever we are going through bad times, we just pray and trust that things are going to get better. And they always do, one way or another. So, um... Oh, I shouldn't have done this dark color there. I need a little bit more white. So, but I'm trying to do, and I will do that very, very much this year. I'm going to try my best to be able to do that this year, which is to get a video in every week my goal is to once a week put a video in Going to do a little bit of clouds. Let me see if I can get my brush. There you go. Because I want to barely noticeable. Okay, now let's see. I am going to do, I need some type of gray, so I'm going to be doing like that. Too much black and white, pretty much. And then if you want to get a little bit of um warmer gray just put a little bit of red with it and that's what i want to do i want to do a little bit warmer gray okay now this will be for this area here see look so much dark and in the video I think it's because of the white background. It's almost like black. Now the bottom part will be much darker. Let me try to get. This paper is really bad paper for practice because of the grooves. Hopefully, very soon I'll be doing canvas, but I want to practice first, you know? So if you are learning just like I am, and we are sharing everything I learned with you all, so I will tell you that this paper is actually good for practice, but that's pretty much it. Because uh, once it dries, oh, this is a little bit dark on this side, but let me get this other side first. So I don't know what is so dark on the bottom of the painting. Look, it's really black. It's kind of like a warm black. 
on the bottom of the paint. I gotta put a little bit more white over here. I'm just gonna mix right in the canvas. Paper canvas, this is what this is. Paper canvas. Then I'm going to do dark right here and then dark. this is kind of like the where the port is and then I want to get a little bit darker for this side this is where the boat shadow is and of course the boat will be darker too Basically, right now, what I'm doing, I'm just blocking all the colors in. Now I'm going to mix this and blend it in a little bit. I want to bring it all together. There you go. Now, the bottom part is going to be very dark. So I want to use a little bit of red, a little bit of blue with that black. Because then you get you give you give me a better dark. See, and I'm just blocking in all, but I like when I do the black. I probably need to get a little bit of the oil in so that will flow better. More paint more blue there you go now loaded now I'm gonna have to be careful I got a lot of paint on my brush. There goes my phone. Been a stressful day today with work but thank God everything is falling in place but I needed to take some time and just go do my painting and I'm still working though but this is gonna be um, helpful for me this is helping me painting has helped me a lot with stress some doctors say you know you gotta de-stress and nobody knows how to do that okay now i'm gonna do the boat with the same dark color probably a little, little bit more red a little bit more blue because i want a little bit colder instead of warm so i'm mixing red and blue for my boat. I should probably try to, yeah, let's see. I'm putting all the excess paint all over. Then I will try to do my bottom here. Let me check my messages. Okay. Mm. 
So let's see. I am. This is going to be going from there. So this is like the boat is stopped at a port. And remember, I'm doing the block only. Now, and there, and then, So I'm probably going to have to do some of this a little bit better, but then I'm going to be putting in some of the details. Now, now I need a little bit more red. Now I have to draw this. So let me move. Let me see one thing in here. Okay, now I gotta try to do right here. goes again now this is not a mountain this is supposed to be some buildings so look at how much paint I get on my brush guys I should probably clean my brush let me clean my brush Okay. Ay, ay, this is so funny. I just had a, a deal that I think they were bluffing because we had an issue with the roof. And uh, they, they threatened to walk away from the deal. And I have the seller side. And I told uh, them, you know, if, just go ahead, walk away. You're the one losing. And uh, and I realized that they were bluffing. So they didn't walk away. So, okay, now let me get, I'm getting a, a smaller brush to do some details. Probably need... Let's see. Okay. Then. Right there. Right there too. Right there. Oh, I gotta, I'm shaking. All right. 
Let's see here. Okay. And then over here. Right there. Now I'm mixing the color to make a little bit lighter because this is for a tiny bit. From that building. Now I'll go back to the dark again. I'm going to have to fix that little part over there, but it's okay. Now back here. I see what this is. It's like a little now the thing's gonna go from there. Now I do need to do that um, thing that I did with this. Um, what I did with the measuring, putting this so that I get a firm hand. Because I gotta do a straight, right at the end I need to do a straight pull. Coming from there, a little bit more grayish. And okay, let's try that now. Now I'm doing okay, let's try. <laughs> Oi. All right. That's good. I made this um for myself. You know, if you go buy one, it's so much more. So I just made it. I need to have a, a room. Okay. It's good enough for now. I'm gonna mix a little bit of black, a little bit of ultramarine, and then I'm gonna make a tiny bit right there. All right. Okay. I'm not going to do the sun yet, but I do need to do the shadow of the sun in the ocean. So I'm going to clean my brush. And I do need to um, get a little bit of this gray. A little bit tiny darker. And then move some in here.
Okay. I'm fixing the little part right there. Now I gotta get this shadow. From the water of the sun. So I'm gonna do my same brush and the sun is gonna be right there. So I'm gonna do right here. I need to clean, load it again. See how the paint is like lumpy? I'm gonna do a little bit of darker yellow. Then a lighter yellow. Lighter, even lighter. Okay, I will probably do titanium white. For the sun. Clean, titanium white. Clean, more titanium white. Clean. It's, you have to keep on cleaning. I'm gonna do two sides, I think. Cause then I go one side and the other side. Let me see. I'm gonna step back. Oh yeah, that works. Still need to move the the shadow a little bit more. Probably would be nice to just do instead of doing a la prima, just um let it dry, then come back and touch up more, you know? Making that a little bit bigger. So Let me see. I'm stepping back. I'm looking. Yeah. That's good. Then I got a little bit of titanium white for my sun. And I will think that once it dries, I will come back and do a little bit more. You know what? Let me try this something else. I'm going to try with my knife, get a little titanium white. Let's try that. Do a little bit. Oh, I got brush hair. Okay. Get a little bit and then try to do it this way.
There you go. That's better. I'm going to do it again. So just like Bob Ross, go like this, boom, and get a little bit. Perfect. I like that, guys. That worked out well. So we're going to let it dry. But now, I wonder if I should do this. Chum, chum, chum. Mm, probably. Why not? Let me make dark. Get the a little sun, whimson, the blue, the black. Now, I don't know if I should do it this way. Okay, let's try this. Ugh. If I if I I think I'm not gonna do it because if I mess it up, this will cause a major disaster. Let me try to do it this way. Oh well. Okay. But I think the other part I'm not gonna do it this way. Just clean my palette before I do something that I will regret. <sighs> All right, guys. So now I am going to use this brush to fix this mess that I made in there. Probably we'll do a little bit of black around there too. There you go. That's better. Because I almost made a boob. Probably spread a little bit of black in here because this is a little bit darker so let me just fix this up and keep on spreading Okay, I like that. Now I am gonna use a small brush and I'm gonna try whoo, to use this one. This is a long brush that I have. I don't even know what this is good for, but I'm gonna try to use that with limsa oil to make it thin. But I do want to have a little bit of red. A little bit of white. Okay. So I'm making red, white. Now I'm going to have to clean this brush so I can load it. Because I mixed the paint with the brush. I'm going to load it. All right, let's just hope that it works. Now, this one is gonna come. Okay, let's, ugh, makes me nervous, guys. Okay. Ugh, I get nervous. I don't know if there was another thing that I could use. Let me try this. Let me try this, guys, because I know Mm, yeah, let me, wait. Let me 
see if I can put like this way. Oh, did not work. I tried to use this, but it did not work. So. <sighs> this is supposed to be very thin. This brush is not working either. So let me get another brush. Let's see. Tiny brush. I need a tiny, tiny, tiny. But at the same time, it has to be long. So let's try this one. This one is Artist Loft number zero. So let's try that one. I am need to turn around there. Ooh. It's hard. I don't know about you guys, but I have shaky hands, which is very hard for drawing without a ruler. I mean, drawing is easy because you can get a ruler, but in my case, it's hard because I don't have, sh I have shaky hands. So it only makes things difficult. Yeah, this, I don't know that I would like this. I'm glad I'm not doing this on a canvas. Because I would be really upset if I did on a canvas. It's just hard. Okay. It's frustrating and hard okay now this we've got a couple lines probably gonna try to do so hard guys This is too thick, I think, still. Let me see this one. This one is even smaller, but I think this one is too small. Let me try this one. This one feels like it's smaller. It's a detailed brush. This one, it's a Trinson 5-0. So let's try this one for this next part. So it's going to be going like... Oh no, it's coming, oh, it's coming from here, Ashley, from here. It's still not very smooth. I think it's because it has to barely touch the surface. Ooh. But I can't, I press it too hard. I'm gonna move a little bit of this here. There you go. Now I need to be two, so. <laughs> Guys, this is so hard. Oy. Then it then it's like the more nervous I get, the more I shake. See, you shouldn't be doing this way. Okay, let's try. Ooh. This is hard. Oh my goodness. All right, this is not what I wanted. So Let's try that.
yeah that's not what i wanted so let me clean this brush and try to see if i can fix this mess Ooh. no i only made it worse let me try to do this Okay, it's not quite what I had in mind, but I'm gonna have to fix it. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it like that because it's only gonna make it worse, obviously. This is, I need to figure out, let me try, I know I had a, let me see if I can find, I need to practice and I need to figure that out though. Let me try this one. Mm, two, zero, no. I get, I'm just gonna have to practice this, not online. I'm gonna have to practice this from when I'm not with you all. Because if I do it with you all, it's only make it worse because I get too nervous. Yeah, I'm gonna be working more on this. There you go. And then... Yeah, I definitely need to work more on this, guys. Look at the mess, look at the mess. You do a mess, then you come and you fix it. There you go. And that's how it is, you know, we just have to keep on plug it in and work on it slowly, like my husband always says. I gotta learn how to be patient and do slowly. I think I'm gonna do one video where I put the video on fast. This way, I don't have to worry about it. But this is all I wanted for today. Um, probably we'll do a little bit of a dark line right there. Oh yeah, supposed to be a straight line, guys. But you do like uh, a quicker line, then you come back and fix it. There you go. Mm. 
Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to work on that line and make a little bit more. There you go. And then another thing too, I got the camera like right in my, my way. Um, there you go. I want to make it where you brings it in and then mix the color. Gotta raise this. This area here on the picture, it's a little bit dark, that's why I'm doing this. But I think I'm gonna call it a day. I will keep on working on this. You, you guys, um, I don't wanna put this video too long. So let me know what you think. Some things work out well, some doesn't. So whenever you do like I do and get a bad day, like in every, everything else, we have a bad day in art too. And then don't give up, you know. Keep on going, just like me. I don't, I don't give up. I know sometimes there was a couple of weeks ago that I was pretty depressed and I was feeling like I'm not an artist. I don't have the slightest vocation for being an artist. The only thing I have is a will. And I'm gonna be doing some of this in here too. The only thing I have is a will. So, if you like me, don't give up. Because you never know, you know. I think everybody can learn if you only put your mind into it. It's just not easy, you know. For some people, it comes in naturally but I would believe that probably majority of people I saw this video last night about this painter that um, had a um, his name is Lucien which is kind of funny because that's he's a male and I'm a female and my name is Lucien and his name is Lucien fraud and there was a paint and there was a debate between this paint because he said it was not his paint, but I could pretty much see why because the paint was actually worse than my paintings. And uh, and he was saying that it, that wasn't his painting. Then the, um, when I saw the paint, I was like, well, I would even say that myself, that that paint was not mine. He it was actually worse than my first paint. And this guy is a famous Russian painter, Lucien Fraud, for anybody of you that wants to look him up. But, you know, think about this. When I was even famous people, look at Picasso. I mean, come on, guys. If you look at the painting from Picasso, and um, still, these are famous people that struggle just as much as I do, or probably a little bit less, maybe, but. <laughs> so, don't forget to subscribe, to share, and thanks so much for watching this journey, and let's do this together. Go get yourself a little card and some brushes, and let's do it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.